Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Seymour EA9 HMI series panel barcode scanner input. And up on my screen here we have our Seymour uh, programming software that we are going to create a text entry for. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will also be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So looking at uh, our Seymour programming software, you'll see that I have page 15 up here, which we call barcode scanner input. And we've actually put, uh, entered our common, um, our common uh, menus on the bottom of the screen here. And then what we also done was we add a text entry. Now in the text entry that we did last time, we used the uh, keypad as an input. This time we're gonna do style number two which requires the input object or device. And what we're going to do is we're going to say it comes in MHR 1000 barcode scanner input and we're going to do a byte swap. What that will do is if we look at the scan data and it's opposite, we can switch those bytes around so that it scans instead of 2 1, it'll be 1 2. So there we go. And then under our option, what's important here is our object focus option. So what this means is that when you're looking at a page on your HMI, you must always have uh, the focus on that object in order for the scan to actually go into that particular uh, area. So what we use is our system uh, on bit flag and we'll say object is focused when address is one or on. So that's our option and what we'll do is leave the visibility off and then under password you can see that we can set passwords for this as well. So as soon as we hit OK we can put that up on our screen and that is our basically our program itself. So if we actually look at what we're going to do is we're going to put a barcode scanner to the input of our Seymour EA9. So here's our picture of our EA9 right here and you see we're going to connect this a decil a barcode scanner into the USB device port and this is the new scan 2100 and it actually will go into our USB device right here which is a USB A type configuration and what we can do is we can pick up those uh, um, scans at the Adesso website or you can pick one up on eBay or Amazon.ca. So the next thing we'll do is actually take a look at our um, programming software here. And what will happen is, like he said, the text entry will actually go into MHR 1000. So if we look at our program, you can see here what we've done is during the always on flag, we're gonna put our, we're gonna string put bytes, okay, into SS0, which is our string input, and we're gonna take six bytes and put them into MHR1000 or, or from MHR1000 to SS0. So SS0 will contain our string. Then what we'll do is do a string comparison. And under the string comparison, we're going to compare that uh, SS0 to the code 3. And if it's equal, we can do a C15 will turn on. Then what we'll do is we'll do a string to integer conversion on SS0. And the input will be a decimal. And it'll go into D0. Then all we do is take D0 and we compare it to the value 123001 two, three, and four. And we turn out the corresponding C20, 21, 22, or 23. And that's our program. So let's take a look now at our actual hardware. And here up on my screen, or is my screen, the T10CL. And you can see I have my barcode scanner here. And it's connected uh, back to the back to the USB input port and the first thing we'll do is call back up our 
screen here and we will send our screen information down to our panel. So we'll transfer that. Now keep in mind we can scan in several different barcodes themselves and barcodes are only just symbolic information of information contained um, in the symbols. And a scanner basically sends light out and receives light and determines what that value is going to, going to be. So there we've finished uh, scan or, in, or downloading our program. Now what we'll do is take a look at our information here. So let's go select screen and we'll go down to barcode scanner. And there we go. Right now it says three and nine. And what I've done is I've copied a page out of the manual here and that page will give me some sample codes that we can scan just to test this out. So what we'll do is we'll test the, the first, the, the last one here and it's 47, it's correct. Then we'll test the next one, which is UPCA. Uh, next one. Okay, so it looks like everything's scanning correctly. Code 128, code 39. And you'll notice that what we'll do is take a look at our simulator. And our simulator you see here that we've transferred it to SS0, which says code 39. And if we go to something else, then it uh, it will uh, translate those code for us. So let's just go back to our simulator and we'll make sure we're in run mode, which we are. So there we go, 407. Now let's look at UPC A. So as we, as we scan, you can see the information is getting transferred and put into our unit. Now when we scan the code 3, we should see C15 then light up as per our instruction. And that's exactly what happens. So the other thing we've done is I've actually uh, printed out a couple of barcode scans here. And you can see that we can... Um, scan those in now. So the first one, we'll just say uh, ACC automation, which we have. Then you'll see that as we scan the corresponding uh, three, or one, two, three, and four, the corresponding bits as per our program will turn on. So let's just do that now. So there's one and 20 turns on. There's two and 21 turns on, there's three, 22 turns on, and finally there's four, 123.004, and bit 23 turns on. So our program is working well, and the barcode scanner, as you can see, is quite straightforward. Now, you can download the program as well as some um, fonts to make your own barcodes um, with the link below. And again, that's at accautomation.ca. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to, if you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bar beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.